Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum and greetings to all. I hope everyone is doing fine in the middle of pandemic COVID-19. My name is Muhammad Nasha Hakim and I am an academic staff from College Yayasan Pelajaran Johor. Today, I want to share about my research paper and the title is Cognitive Method in Concept Generation Principle Towards Creative Ideation Process. Let's have a look at the outline of my presentation. We are going to look into introduction first and then literature review which is content sorts of literature research. Next, we are going to explore the methodology used and we look into the experiment followed by discussion and last but not least, the conclusion of my research paper. Let's begin for the first part. Design process is a process an engineer goes through in devising a solution of a problem. The design process steps should be followed to achieve goals of a project and compulsory to include the ideas and sketches of the whole process and the process requires both knowledge and creativity. The design stages start with empathize, followed by define, ideation, prototype, and lastly is the testing. For my research purpose, I focus into the ideation, which is during this stage, any possible creative ideas could be generated by brainstorming. Now we look into the concept generation principle. What it is? Basically, the principle in concept generation is divided by two, which are taxonomical relation and thematic relation. Under the principles, there are three methods encouraged to generate creative ideation. The methods are metaphor method, blending method, and thematic method. Further explanation will discuss in literature review. Concept generation is used in design process in order to produce creative ideation. You can explore the solution space using different ideation techniques. Creative ideation is very important in design because without it, there is no potential for innovation where novel ideas are implemented and transformed into commercial value. From explanation before, how different types of methods relate with the creative ideation in design? Based on previous research, I found two different methods that encourage the creative ideation in design. The first one is from Nagai and Taura. They state that blending method and thematic method are made to relate more closely to produce a higher creativity in ideation process than metaphor method. And the second one is Finkel Method 1992. The creative design output are evaluated based on the viewpoint of originality and practicality. So for my research, I want to clarify the design output of different methods in concept generation principles and from the viewpoint of originality and practicality. Previous studies that are related to concept generation principles only justify the creativity and non-creativity design output by itself. Until now, there is still no data to show the creative ideation process by understanding how concept generation principles correlates with the creativity of design output from the viewpoint of originality and practicality. So that this study is purpose to justify the assumptions of blending method and thematic method produce a higher creativity in ideation of design output then metaphor method by clarify the relation between concept generation principles of method classification with the originality and practicality viewpoints of creative evolution. There are two objectives to achieve for this research. The first one is to identify type of cognitive methods used by engineering students that may contribute creative ideation process in concept generation principles. The main purpose of this research is to determine the correlation between methods classification and concept generation principles with creativity of design output from the viewpoint of originality and practicality. Now we look into the literature review. Previously, in introduction, I already explained briefly about the concept generation principle. Here come the detailed explanations. Based on the figure, basically concept generation principles is divided by two which are taxonomical relation and thematic relation. Under taxonomical relation lies two types of method which are metaphor and blending. Taxonomical relation is based on similarity and dissimilarity of two kinds of concept, while thematic relation recognized from human factor viewpoint. The principle of this relation is differed into three design process primitive. 
Taxonomical relation relates to concept abstraction and concept blending while thematic relation relates to concept integration. This example will explain more to be understand. Basically, metaphor method focusing on the similarity between two things and blending method focusing not only similarity but also the similarity is pointed out while thematic method consider not only attributes but also the function and interface with the user. For example, if we have best concept of snow and tomato, for metaphor method, it will produce white tomato because it takes the white color of snow combined with the tomato. Blending method produce ketchup powder because it takes the future of snow shape is light powder combined with orange color of tomato, while automatic method produce refrigerator because snow is a cold temperature and you can place the tomato inside to keep it fresh. This example proves that thematic relation will produce more creative ideation in design. There are many types of ideation techniques as you can see in the figure. For my research purpose, I use the scamper techniques which is focusing in combined method. Scamper is a lateral thinking technique which challenges the status quo and helps you explore new possibilities. It assists the person in coming up with ideas either for modifications that can be made on an existing product or for making a new product. The combined method of scamper is used for this research purpose. Now we look into the base concept. Base concept is a pair of base and target objects, attribute on alignability and thematic relatedness. Base concept is used combined method from Scamper which is combination of base and target object. There are four cases lies in base concept which are high alignability plus thematic relation will produce more creative base concept while low alignability plus no thematic relation will produce less creative base concept. You can refer to the example as shown in the table to be more understand. We proceed to explore the methodology of my research. As you can see in the flowchart, there are four parts of methodology. The first part is selection of best concept followed by design experiment, classification and evaluation process and finally comes the analysis. For selection of best concept, swan and fish best concept is chosen. The selection of this best concept is based on discussion with the other researchers after listing a lot of possible best and target objects. Why swan and fish? Swan and fish have high alignability and thematic relatedness, and it tends to be more creative. For example, have high alignability, both are animals, and thematic relatedness, swan eat fish, or both live in water. In order to make the research success, a design task is created. Subjects are required to design a furniture based on best concepts selected before, which is swan and fish. Subjects are from different level of mechanical engineering students. After subjects completed the design task, the classification methods and evaluation of the design task are examined by three design instructors who expert in design. Finally, here comes the analysis. For this research, I use SPSS software to determine the statistical analysis. Shapiro will, will be measured for normality test because numbers of subjects is less than 2000. Spearman's row correlation is used to test the correlation between cognitive method classification and creativity score due to non-normality of the data distribution. Next is to analyze the relation between the cognitive method classification towards mean of creativity score and from the analysis, an error bar is plotted for creativity score to see the significant difference from the standard deviation value. Now we look into the experiment. As you can see in the table classification of design output, three design outputs of subject are randomly selected for each method classification. For the discussion about the classification of design output samples are explained in the three design output sketch samples. From the first figure, the product name given by the subject is Swan Space Happily Closet. In explanation part, subject mentioned about the color of the closet is white because color of swan. And subject also described about the door closet is designed with shape of swan as illustrated in figure. It proves that the design output is metaphor method. 
For second figure, the product name given by the subject is romantic goldfish chair. In explanation part, subject mentioned about the color of the chair is mixed with white and gold color. The color inspired from white color of swan and gold color of goldfish. The shape of the couple chair like a couple of swans facing each other and the patterns of the surface chair also inspired from pattern of the goldfish skin. Moreover, subjects also explain about the floating design of the chair and could be floated in water. From the design output, it shows that the design output is sliced under blending method. The last figure is tends to be thematic relation because the product name given by the subject is the leg stairs. In explanation part, subject describe about the design is to help people to move easier. For example, if a person at level 2 and want to head to the first floor, when he or she step on the pressure plate on the specific stair, it will initiate a lift system to head down. This concept looks F is if the person is being eaten by the stairs because he or she will go to the stairs where the leaf is, and it is as a swan eating fish. The creativity evolution of design outputs are examined by three design instructors and the score is kept to be confidential to avoid the bias. After completed, a table is constructed to see the relation between method classification and creativity score. From three subjects for each method as before, you can see the higher creativity score is thematic method classification. Now we enter the discussion part. The correlation analysis for this study is purpose to justify the assumptions of blending method and thematic method produce a higher creativity in ideation of design output than metaphor method by clarify the relation between concept generation principles of method classification with the originality and practicality viewpoints of creativity evolutions. This is the Spearsman's role correlation of cognitive method classification and creativity score generated from SPSS analysis software. From the data analysis shows, the value of Spearsman's row correlation coefficient is 0.824, so that there is positively strong relationship between cognitive method classification and creativity score. The significant value is 0, more than alpha, and here proof that the data support there is correlation between cognitive method classification and creativity score. It concludes that there is significantly related between cognitive method classification and creativity score. Next is to discuss about the relation between the cognitive method classification towards mean of creativity score. This table shows report of mean, number of data and standard deviation of cognitive method classification towards practicality score, originality score and creativity score. From the mean value, an error bar is plotted for the creativity score and the analysis is to see the significant difference from the standard deviation value in the error bar. In the figure shows confident interval error bar of cognitive method classification and mean creativity score. From the bar chart, the mean creativity scores for thematic method and blending method are higher than metaphor method. The standard deviation error bars do not overlap each other. Then, it is a clue that the difference may be significant and it proves that all the three methods are affected the creativity score. From the statement and mean value in previous table, Blending method is more creative than metaphor method, but less creative than thematic method. In conclusion, the purpose of this study to identify type of cognitive methods used by engineering students that may contribute creative ideation process in concept generation principles were defined by design experiment. The correlation between concept generation principles with creativity of design output from the viewpoint of originality and practicality were determined by the correlation analysis. To summarize, previous study by Nagai and Taura that made assumptions of thematic method produced higher creativity in ideation of design output than taxonomical relation which are metaphor method and blending method is justified. So, that's all my presentation that I want to share with you about my research paper. If you have any question, you can email me at nashahakim at kypj.edu.my. I hope to hear from you soon. Stay safe and thank you very much.